A grieving grandmother says her family is looking for a way forward after losing her daughter suddenly this week to a childbirth complication. It's tragic. Kelly Tyler was in the hospital to deliver her fifth child when she suffered from an amniotic embolism, a rare and often fatal complication. Ashley Moss brings us their touching story. Walking down the hallway to the room where they were taking us, it was the longest walk of my life. Part of my heart's gone. Julie says her daughter Kelly went into the hospital Wednesday for the birth of her fifth baby, but there were problems. I think her last words my granddaughter said was that I'm about to faint. The amniotic fluid got into Kelly's bloodstream and she was just losing blood more than she could take in. She says a medical team worked relentlessly to save her. They spent almost two hours trying to revive her and I can't thank that doctor team, nurses team enough for doing what they did. The attention quickly turning to baby Jay. Shortly after delivery, she was experiencing trauma of her own. The baby whisked away for special care. The baby was without great attention because they went to work on her. We won't know if she has any cognitive issues until she, she grows. Thankfully, the family just brought her home. And her name's Jaylee. She's already spoiled. She's a little chunky monkey or our Tootsie Roll. Kelly's death was due to a catastrophic complication that endangers a mother during delivery or shortly after giving birth. It's rare that it happens and almost always fatal and in our case, unfortunately, it was. Amniotic embolisms are often unpredictable. The ultimate cause is still a mystery. I hope she didn't feel anything. I pray she didn't. Julie says one way or another, Jaylee will know her mother. Jaylee won't get to know her mom in person. She's going to know her mom. She's one of the, my best parts. One of the best things I ever did. And we're going to carry that on through her kids. In Guthrie, Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4. The family has started to GoFundMe to help with current and future needs for that family. And yeah, we've got that information as well as the latest update on babyj at k4.com.